Are you looking for better ways to promote your school district in a web-savvy world? Well, you've come to the right place to learn tips to help you get started using 21st century marketing strategies and hear how some of your peers leverage their websites to promote their districts. Our guest presenters today are Chris Bexler, Jeff Windsor, and Terry Wilson. Chris Bexler is the Director of Marketing Operations with Schoolwires. He has over 13 years of marketing experience, specializing in the K-12 education and technology fields. He is proficient in market research, strategy, and planning. He is passionate about uncovering the challenges and roadblocks that school districts face and identifying solutions for them. Jeff Windsor is a product specialist at SchoolWires, and as a product specialist, Jeff is responsible for supporting the SchoolWires sales team on the product line. Before coming to SchoolWires, Jeff was a SchoolWires client and served for 10 years as an internet specialist for the Denton Independent School District in Denton, Texas. And he was responsible for all aspects of the district's website and related training. Terry Wilson is the Director of Public Engagement at Grand Prairie Independent School District there in Texas. She has been an educator for 27 years, serving in various roles including teacher, principal, staff development director, and director of public engagement. Terry is a proud product of Texas Public Schools and a proud mom to two sons who are also products of the Texas Public Schools. And she says she's even prouder to be a part of TSPRA. Also on the call today is your sales rep for Texas, Robert Lopez. And if any of you would like to reach out to Robert, his contact information is here on the screen. So at this point, Chris, I am going to turn the presentation over to you, and the floor is all yours. Great. Thank you, Deborah. So marketing, what does that have to do with your K-12 district? Well, if we think about it, technology has really transformed the landscape. I don't think any of us can really deny that. With the advent of mobile devices and the growing popularity of social media tools, it's no longer enough to simply mail out a press release or print a newsletter and send it home with the students. New digital parents, those parents who tweet, text, and are savvy users of mobile technologies, are really changing the way administrators have to think about communication. In order to manage their own public relations and to make sure they're pushing out the information in a controlled way. More and more districts are building content-rich websites and using tools like blogs and social media to communicate and establish two-way interactions with their community. Savvy administrators know that they must pay attention to the content and to the looks of their website, which really impacts the district brand. At the same time, they can leverage technology to open the door to two-way communication with parents, students, faculty, and the community as a whole. So where do you start? How do you get a marketing plan into place? I'm here today to briefly go over a couple of tips that will help you get started using 21st century marketing strategies today. The first tip is not really a secret. Your website is key. We all know that a well-designed and managed website is the greatest opportunity to promote your district. Websites are often the very first place people in the community visit to learn about your district and the go-to resource for practically everything. Content is information like stories, photos, and more. Great content brands your district as a trusted resource for your community. Keeping that content up to date and relevant is easy to do with your website. You provide easy home page access and navigation for parents and staff with personal portals, contact directories, e-newsletters, and social media. We've all heard that a picture is worth a thousand words. So when you can get your visitors further inside your website by creating teasers for feature stories with pictures and graphics, links to classroom photo galleries, and sports videos. The important thing to remember is to use your website to tell your story the way you want it told. 
Tip two is about social media and how you can use it to extend your message. Many districts are taking advantage of search engine optimization and social media to communicate directly into their community. We found that social media channels districts use most often are Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, and YouTube. The important thing is to discover where your community is and reach them through those channels. When you realize how many hits your district and school websites get for its up-to-date content, and then push that content out through multiple social media channels, you realize that it becomes very cost effective. You're not printing these materials out anymore. You're not spending money on the ink and the paper and hoping those printed materials make it home. Through social media, two-way communication is a great way to get insights from your community. You can keep your finger on the pulse of what parents and your community want. Social media requires engagement. Engagement requires constant feeding. That's why it's critical to keep your content fresh with new stories and information that's important to your district and stakeholders. The important thing here to remember is to reach your community where they are most frequently. And the last tip I have today is make it mobile friendly. Again, it's no secret that the, the advent of the smartphone and tablet and other mobile devices is really making all of us consider and reconsider how we reach out to uh, our audience. Many um, chances are more and more people in your district are ac accessing your website through these mobile devices. It's important to make sure that your website adapts to mobile design, giving your community Mobile access to your website helps teachers, students, and parents stay up to date while they're on the go. They can get information about school activities, sporting events, weather alerts, and more through this multitude of mobile devices. The important thing to consider is to help your community stay connected while they're on the go. Now, thinking like a marketer is one thing. Putting those thoughts and plans into action is another. We want to spend some time today looking at examples of school districts in Texas and the leaders that actively promote their success across their communities. Jeff Windsor will show a few of those examples. Thank you, Chris. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show my desktop, and we're going to use some real live examples from actually from across the country and within Texas to show some examples of what uh, Chris just talked about. We're going to begin at Barrington 220 up in Illinois. Um, not only do they have a really nice looking custom template uh, that incorporates many of the elements that Chris mentioned, things like the, the attractive uh, uh, photograph right there on the main page to draw people in, the, uh, the ease of navigation to get to the information that they need uh, right at their fingertips, and the, the ability to incorporate in things like social media framework, social media elements from Facebook and Twitter and those types of things. Uh, but one of the things that they do a really good job of is utilizing the included e-newsletter capability within school wires. Uh, one of the things that they've done is they, they use the very simple broadcast e-alerts to send out these very nice looking emails uh, from either the district area, the school board, and, and even from the superintendents. And they've created these to help reinforce the brand. You'll notice that, that right here, this is tying directly into the overall theme of their district uh, and, and makes it very easy for even the most novice clerical type person to be able to assist with sending out this important communication. Here, this particular example, uh, Dr. Leonard uh, just sent out a, a nice email uh, talking about the, the end of summer, and I've actually subscribed to their newsletters, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull up my email here, and this is my, my Gmail, I've subscribed to it, and you'll see that it shows up just like it, it does on the website. Uh, very easy to manage, very easy to create. It's simply a, a, a table within a page. And if I could take just a minute, I'm going to show a quick example of how that might be done on your site. 
I, I have a, a demonstration site here. I'm going to go into the site manager for those people who, who use our product. And you'll notice a very easy way to get to not only the, the mobile configuration, but also the tools to see those broadcast e-alerts. And so I have the ability then to send that out um, using a very simple, easy to manage interface. In fact, the, the editor here is if you can update a Word document, you have all the skills you need to add content into the page. So it's a very easy way for people to keep in touch, to in, in, enforce that uh, two-way communication that Chris talked about, and really uh, have a, a very cost-effective way to reach out to those people in, in a very modern, um, graphically rich method. Now I'm going to switch over to uh, another district that was, was shown in Chris's slideshow, the San Diego Unified School District. Um, they do quite a bit around the branding of their site. In fact, when they did a redesign recently, they actually had us incorporate, we actually created the logo for them. They did a push to really bring in the entire community around the district and have this be the hub for all information regarding the community. And in part of that is to really enforce, well, what are they going to call their district? And so that's the, you can see that um, lined up here. Some people would call it San Diego Public Schools. Some people would call it SDUSD. And so the, the idea was to push out that brand of San Diego Unified. And that unified element is part of the name, but it's also the spirit of the rebranding effort. So not only do they enforce that as part of that, that, that the naming scheme here, but also within the logo itself. You can see that each of the diverse colors point in to a central star, giving that visual representation of a unified effort towards the success of each and every student. In addition to that, that unified method here, you'll notice that they're, they have a very clean template and look and feel, and they do uh, quite a bit of work to make sure that those uh, pieces of content are available right at their fingertips. So no matter where you are, you have access to the information you need. Taking that unified to that next step, uh, they have chosen to have a, a similar look and feel for each of their schools. So for example, if I come out to uh, one of their schools, you'll see a, a little different look and feel uh, for that page. But even within that, they make sure that down here in the, in the footer that there is that unifying element, uh, making sure that everyone knows that not only do they have an easy way to see the district information, but also that, uh, that key information that they want to share out on every website. So it, it's a really unifying, it's a, it ties it all together for them. Now, one of the other things that I'd like to share here real quickly is that San Diego does use a responsive web design. And, and again, this is part of their overall strategy for reaching every person within their district. And the, the elements of this responsive design uh, allows for a specific and purposeful look and feel for their website on up to five different devices. And so if I could demonstrate that here quickly, here we're looking at it at, on a computer screen, a, a typical wide screen. But if I were to look at this on a, let's say a tablet, when I get to that tablet resolution right here, you'll notice that it snaps in and it responds to that smaller resolution and several items change on the page. Well, instead of having a, a three unequal columns, it's now three equal columns of content, and the size of the image has been altered a little bit to maximize that particular screen while eliminating that need for horizontal scrolling. As we go down to the next of the five touch points, you'll see we get to uh, the smaller uh, tablets, uh, the iPad Mini or the, the Nexus or something like that. And again, it, it has responded. Now we're down to two columns of content. People can still see every piece of, of information on the site without having to pinch and zoom and without having to do horizontal scrolling. Now this next presentation here is going to be uh, very specific to the smartphones. So here we have a, a smartphone in landscape. And you'll notice there 
their, uh, their navigation element here has changed from the typical tabs to a much more touch-friendly uh, slide-out menu. And, and again, providing that optimized view no matter what device you're on. And then finally, when we get down to the smartphone size, we still have access to every piece of content. The pictures have, have modified to, to fit the screen, the ability to get access to all of the content on the page without having to pinch and zoom or do any horizontal scrolling. And of course, we still have that touch-friendly uh, navigational element there to make it easy for people to find the information that they want. If you'd like more information about San Diego and some of their uh, efforts in, in working through their, their challenges with marketing, I encourage you to come to the SchoolWire's website under Hot Topics. And on here are several items that we've uh, called out. Um, here, here's one about leveraging your websites to manage your brand. It's a nice white paper that you can download and read. Uh, it pulls in some of the information that Chris has mentioned, as well as some quotes from, from uh, Bernie Reinerson, who is the uh, Director of Communications at San Diego Unified. We also have a couple videos that, that showcase some of their uh, successes, as well as uh, a little slideshow that, that Bernie has put together talking about social media communications. And all of these items are available on our corporate website under Hot Topics. And then last but certainly not least, we'd like to spend some time diving into the, the marketing efforts from Grand Prairie Public Schools here in Texas. So with that, I'm going to uh, stop sharing my desktop and I'm going to pass the, the baton over to Terry Wilson at, at Grand Prairie. So Terry, the presentation's all yours. Thanks so much and good morning, everyone. Um, we certainly are glad to share with you our marketing efforts in GPISD. We are really utilizing our website and it's a whole team of folks who are working together to provide rich, up-to-the-date information that helps tell the story of the journey our district is on. Um, we utilize our website to be our main storytelling component, and those front slides are one of the most important things that we do. We try and update weekly with new slide decks that combine what's happening, what's currently going on in our community, along with information and pictures for parents and stakeholders to see what's happening inside our classroom, whether it's a special visitor like Commissioner Williams, or perhaps a science lesson, or a parent meeting. We want folks to know what's going on, so we've found a great deal of value in those front deck slides. Those slides can lead through a link to more um, complete information and content like surveys and registrations. And in our marketing efforts to reach all of the parents in our community with opportunities to attend our schools of choice, we're able to put information on the front deck slide that grabs their attention they click, they follow through, and they can receive information, register online for their school of choice, um, make, give feedback on how we're doing, um, get all of the information that they need, whether it's a calendar link or a news announcement. Our parents are, are responding uh, to our efforts quite well. Uh, this next slide, we want to keep the focus on our student achievements. So again, as a part of our storytelling, we're reaching into the classrooms using our campus key communicators and web communicators to send us that rich content. We can't, with 38 campuses in our district and 27,000 students, we can't be at everything. But with staff trained, with the right cameras, the right equipment to send us what's going on, 
each day we can show a look inside a math classroom, a look inside a science classroom, what happened at field day, or in the slide you're looking at there, those students on the bottom were out of town at a competition. We weren't out of town with them, but they sent it and we got it loaded and parents got to see the success before the children ever arrived back in the school district. So we include here for you just more of what we're doing, a big effort, a big push to let people see inside the schools. Seeing is believing, and we want them to see that we have engaged students in rigorous academic settings. We want them to see that we have students who are actively involved in what's going on in our school buildings. So we feel really supported um, by our campus web key communicators who come they together once a month. We have an open lab where they're able to share best practices and ideas. We um, are able to help them tell their campus story and then push it out to our district story. I guess the, the next thing that we, we want to talk about is we engaged in a broader marketing um, effort this, um, this year in January and the previous year um, where we invite people to actually come to a school building and see what we offer. And we have reconnected many of the students who live in Grand Prairie but were driving outside of our district to attend private uh, parochial, charter, other schools. And we wanted those kids back in our classrooms. So we used our website and relied heavily on it um, to share the information about our choice experience, about the opportunities that were available. We were able to link video, able to share information for parents. We still have that ongoing with information about choice. In fact, one of the top deck slides that you'll see if you're on our website today is announcing that we've extended a deadline on some fine arts additions for some additional seats that we have. And we are able to push messaging out to those parents through our mobile view, which has been a great tool, we can also push specific messaging that will pop up on the mobile phone. For instance, last week, and I'm sorry I don't have a slide to show for it, um, we used our mobile messaging to remind people that it's not too late to audition for our 6th through 12th grade Fine Arts Academy. We're using the data, like all the rest of you are, to really look at how many unique visits, how has it looked, this is our really what we call our, our first year. We've, we're about a year into our website redesign and being able to look at how it is moving forward. Are people responding? Are they seeing what's going on? You can see a unique number there around our School of Choice event that lets us know that the combination of marketing we were using from billboards to postcards to web marketing all drove more visitors to our site than ever before. Here you're looking at another website metric, and again, it, it's a, a great opportunity to, 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 to look at where we are in terms of total number of page views. And we can tell as we're, as we're looking, okay, there's the dip for the Christmas holidays. Parents aren't on there so much looking and going to visit our website. We can even tell what are they looking at specifically. And we really are using these tools in the back of our school wires a lot. Here's an example of one specific school of choice. It's a middle school, the Young Women's Leadership Academy. Great opportunity for us to see, are we getting our messaging out there? Parents were interested. As we opened the school in August, you see a high number of, of hits. And again, there's that January 20th, 2013, a high number as parents are shopping that school. I think that the best thing we can tell you about School Wires is that it's a responsive way for us to manage a great deal of content and the information that our community needs. 
we have found that the tools are excellent for us in terms of putting the information out there. Our embedded social media, the mobile view, and the responsiveness, our, our, our clerks, our campus staff, folks are loving the opportunity to tell their story through the website. Now I'm going to pass the screen over to Deborah Wood. Thank you, Terry. Thank you for the great presentation, Chris, Jeff, and Terry. That was wonderful. Now it's time to open up the session for some questions and answers. So while you're an entering your questions in the Q&A section, I'd like to thank Texas School Public Relations Association for partnering and collaborating with School Wires on this event. And we worked closely with Lindsay at TSPRA, and she did a great job promoting the event to all of the TSPRA members. So thank you again for your partnership on this. And at this time, please, in the uh, control panel on the right-hand side, you'll see a Q&A section. Please enter your questions there, and we will get started. Uh, there is a question here about school wires. So um, probably, Jeff, I'll have you answer this one. Is school wires mostly for large school districts? We serve districts of all sizes from uh, Walnut Bend up in the north uh, of Texas with, I, I think they have six teachers, on up to all different sizes. Over 200 districts in Texas use us, uh, again, from that very small clear up to uh, uh, Houston and Dallas. It, it can be used by districts of all sizes. Perfect. Thank you. Um, this is for Terry. Have you abandoned your print newsletters, or do you mix print with your web-based efforts? To be completely honest, we have abandoned our print newsletter, and we also abandoned, we were using a um, constant contact weekly newsletter, and um, so we had about 2,000 people receiving that electronic constant contact newsletter. And each week, about 300 people opened it up. And we felt like we needed to spend more of our time putting correct, accurate, up-to-date content on the website where 5 million people are looking. So we abandoned that weekly newsletter electronically. And we aren't doing the newsletter that we used to do four times a year, mail it to 46,000 roof rooftops, um, it's simply economies of scale. Our community is responding and looking at our website, and that's where we're investing our staff time. I bet you're saving quite a bit of money also. With we're saving quite a bit of money, and um, when we do mail, it's for something very target-specific, the marketing and the branding that we're doing with our schools of choice, we are spending money there. What we would have spent mailing letters, mailing newsletters, mailing invitations, that's all become electronic. Um, one thing that we like is the ease of the English-Spanish format that we have through School Wires. And so we're still able to meet the needs of our other language families without having to mail both English and Spanish. and and incur the expenses. Wonderful. Okay. Great responses, great questions. It looks like we got through our questions too, so we're making great time here. I just wanted to thank everyone for attending today our Lunch and Learn session, and hopefully this leaves you some time to go grab some lunch too. Um, thanks again to all of our guest speakers. We enjoyed having you with us. And for all the attendees, please look for our email with the webinar recording. And you'll also receive a great article with marketing ideas that you can implement right away. So you'll be getting that in an email. Keep an eye out for that. And in the meantime, if you want to learn more about how SchoolWire's solutions support marketing your district to your communities, feel free to visit our website at schoolwires.com. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to email us at sales at schoolwires.com. Thank you again, Chris, Jeff, and Terry. And we hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day.